I'm here with Christian of Megahertz to talk about the new record in Toffel's Nomen. Did, did, did I butcher it? Uh, no, not at all. It was pretty close. It, uh, we, we say in Teufel's Namen. <laughs> it was close. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Uh, out August 11th on Napalm Records. It's such a pleasure to have you on the channel to talk about this new album. Uh, let me start off by asking you this. Ten records. This is the 10th record. Uh, how would you describe the path that the band has taken across all of these albums leading up to now this latest release? Oh, that's not an easy question. But I could I could talk like an hour or so. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, it's you know, it's our life. We're doing this not just for fun. It's us, and it's a way to express ourselves. And uh, you know, producing uh, music and uh, uh, is maybe uh, the the less fun part of it uh, because it's very. Um, very hard to do and it's uh, very exhausting to do um the, the the best part is maybe playing live but but these two components you know being on tour and being back in the studio to uh check out new stuff stuff to be curious to have, um uh, to be you know to be always on the search for for the sound and for the song the best song that you ever written maybe uh this is uh, really a cool thing and and this this is this is what what makes our lives uh, good for us and uh and you know and we've always um uh tried not to repeat ourselves which is becoming even more you know it's it's a 10th album it's, it doesn't become easier <laughs> it's only going to get harder it's only going to get harder with every yeah, album absolutely. uh you, you mentioned playing live versus studio does that mean you don't enjoy the studio recording process and the creative process that comes with it I do very much because uh, I own the studio and this, you know, for this purpose, I'm just, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm as well one of those uh, gear nerds, just look at the, you know, my amps and stuff. Wow. And <laughs> <laughs> so, so I really enjoy it, but it's, uh, you know, um, you have those fucking deadlines and, you know, they, they put so much pre pressure on you. And uh, this is where, you know, the, Fun is get, becomes uh, less and less, and but but you know, someone's got to do it. <laughs> are are those deadlines uh, or the the fun that doesn't come from those deadlines the reason why it took you guys five years between records? This is the longest time between albums for the band. Is there a specific reason behind it? Yes, it's uh, definitely uh, for me. It was the it was the, the the pandemic was the worst thing that ever happened to me because you know. Um, we we uh creative persons and we you know all the people that, that that are going out doing something live in front of an audience uh they they were they were forbidden to do it anymore and i understand it, it totally it may it may mean that it makes sense to to do in, in such a time to to cancel all the concerts but the problem is um it it didn't it didn't feel good at all you know we we we, we were we were uh, really, all, you know, all these these musicians and bands were, were giving um, a lot to to to, um, um, to to everybody to 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 get through this pandemic in a in a relatively okay way, you know. Um, but we have, you know, maybe uh, I know that the, the price uh, everybody paid in the pandemic was uh, bad for everybody, but but you know. Being not allowed to not work anymore and not uh, um, um, earn money, but to you have you know it's 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 like someone comes to you right now and says you uh, Pedro you stop immediately what you love the most right now, and you know and this goes on for two or three years, um and we didn't we didn't like to play in front of I don't know uh, uh, parking cars. Uh, in, in 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 car cinemas uh, and, and open air cinemas uh, or, or uh, that have, have have even been I uh, you know uh, rock concerts in front of kind of uh, those those uh, those tables you find in 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 beer tents. This is totally ridiculous. You know, this is not the, the thing why I why I uh, um, decided to to be a musician in first place. Yeah, I did not want to do that, and 
this was the one thing that, I, um, and the, you know, this really created a bad time for me, and I was really depressed during this, 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 the, uh, this area, and and the other guys felt as well, um, in, in a similar way. But you know, I'm I'm uh, as I have the studio, I do uh, do most of the songwriting and the producing as well. So if I fail, uh, it's not a good thing for the band. <laughs> And and this was to be honest, this was the reason I I uh, I felt so fucked up during this 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 period, and I felt really really small and and you know um, it was horrible and uh, so um, and when I when I um, when I when, when I checked that okay that's it now it's 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 uh, it's it's starting to to decline this whole thing it's uh it's uh the normal times are uh inside again uh this this really made me feel better and i started to work um i mean i always worked and i, I really forced myself to work hard but i only created one you know this this file of of bullshit you know it's it's a lot a lot of stuff in there uh, on my on my hard drive that is totally uninspired totally unusable and uh that i you know you can never see the light of day no never <laughs> i don't think you'll, so you'll take it to your grave nobody's ever gonna listen to that stuff yeah, yeah right <laughs> no. you you mentioned that you you guys work really hard in terms of not sounding repetitive and 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 redefining yourselves with with every album but do you ever take a chance to look back uh, at the history of the band, at the discography of the band, maybe not for inspiration, but just to see the growth and the development that you've had. And maybe that will open the doors for where you want to go going forward, because the past almost always helps shape the future. Yeah, that's right. You know, this 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 definitely helps. And I have, I have really done this um, in, the, in the past as well. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, if you if if you're sitting uh, here and in, and you know the 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 deadline is is is, uh, is not far away. You need something to to uh, to crack the writer's block, and uh, this is maybe one of the of the tools you can use for that. Just you know to to remind yourself you can do it and you have done it before, and uh, you know just something to 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 kick you a little and and to give you a good feeling to start and. Uh, this whole process process and how and, and and remind you how to put your energy into music again as as you start to work on this album and as you have the vision of we want to make an album that offers something different not repeating what we've done before if if you have to point out one element of this record that gives this album its uniqueness what what would it be you you mean one song or one? What in general throughout the record is there? Yeah. Is there something that you feel like it sets this album apart from from the ones that came before? Um, maybe this album is 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 uh, political wise more a slap in the face of someone we want to slap in the face. <laughs> I know you know and and, and, and uh, on on uh, because it's more direct text wise. I mean, there's, there's the, the, this, this, the, our single is called Alles Arschlöcher, which is everybody's an asshole. Uh, basically, I mean, uh, how else could you say that? I mean, uh, uh, and, uh, as, and and this song, tell, this song tells the story about about the, all those rude, uh, um, um, arrogant people. They, they uh, 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 um, uh, um, you know, they, they just think about wealth and getting rich and famous and uh, like bankers and, um, you know, they, they, they basically rule the world and don't care about, about your neighbor. You know, it's all about elbows. So, and there's another song on the album, which is uh, very important for me, especially, be uh, especially because I told you, I, I really, I was really depressed uh, during the pandemic um, and I was, uh, you know, it was so weird uh, to 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 read the, the news or to, uh, to 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 see the news where 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 they told us that there are people telling other people that the pandemic is only used for uh, used by Bill Gates implanting chips in other persons. You know, it means so weird. You know, there was there was such so, so weird uh, stories and so um. Um, with a friend of mine, 
uh, I called him and, and and I said we we got to do something about this and we uh, have to get this I have to write this song I have to get this from my from my soul because it makes me really feel sad and uh, you know that was and we took this one person as a symbol for all the other um, I don't know strange people saying even strange I thought you want to say idiots but okay yeah 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 yeah, yeah sure uh, we we are uh, yeah yeah as a, <laughs> you know what i mean um and um and this there was this one cook this uh in germany who made a, a really great career and he suddenly got totally in the rabbit hole of of you know this all this 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 weird things and uh and he's called attila and uh, and um, um, there also has been in, in 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 former times Attila the king of the Huns is mm -hmm. it is it English and and uh, in Germany is Attila König der Hunnen and we and we called this song Attila König der Dummen which means Attila king of the stupid <laughs> <laughs> so always uh, you know always a uh, uh, funny side to our stories and and we put all all our I was uh, all the stress we had with those people put in this song, and even even uh, even filled it with a uh, with um you know sound bites from a uh, from a uh, from a TV show from um, um, um uh, as you know it's it's there's stuff in it that that these people really said. Oh, so you guys like, like, added, like little sound bites, like from interviews and things like that. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. Oh, wow. oh, this is, you know, Andrea Merkel is a satanist and stuff like that. I don't know, as it's so weird. <laughs> wow. Uh, when you look at this uh, album, uh, lyrically wise, were all the songs created like that? Were they all, uh, when you when when it came down to writing the lyrics for these songs, were they all created with this record in mind? It was nothing brought that you already had from the past? Was everything fresh? everything fresh everything fresh it was everything uh, you know it was a it was a reflection of 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 the years that that were that were before and and uh and it was a reflection to uh either the music that that came first or the lyrics that came first most of the times uh i do the music first and 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 uh, send the music to alex and he does the in the he does the lyrics and uh, with two uh, two or three songs, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure. He he sent me lyrics, uh, and uh, and I put the music afterward on it. But it was all fresh, all done for this record. So so considering the five years, considering the pandemic, considering the depression, everything that was going on in the world, when it came down to creating this album, uh, was it a challenging? Was was it a hard? to get things going or were you guys so excited to finally get back in the studio together that everything just worked seamless it was totally a really challenging thing and it was so it was so exhausting this time that i you know there were there were really times when i when i um i said uh i, I wanna i wanna finish this record but i'm not even sure if i can make it <laughs> <laughs> you know this is uh but but, but you know they, uh, uh, i think this is typical for creative persons that you have those ups and downs you know there's uh you, you it's 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 not so unusual as you look at the state uh of of the music world the metal rock world in germany there's so many great bands uh, making their way, not just within Germany, but even outside of Germany. Uh, we've seen with Lord of the Lost representing Germany at Eurovision. Uh, yeah. Does that also motivate you to see that, you know, making music in Germany, in German, is perhaps no longer a handicap that forces you to a very narrow audience? Um, you know, we, we we were always always surprised when we when we're playing Europe, when we're playing Russia, or we, we even did a, a tour in China. We were always surprised how good the the the, the people knew, knew the lyrics. You know, it's uh, you you know you uh, we were um you're going to Moscow and and play a show there, and you you wouldn't expect it that that everybody sings with you the the songs. I mean, it's it's crazy, isn't it? I mean, it's such an um, it's it's such a hard language, and uh, and you know, it really, it was really a cool thing for us, a really, really cool experience. 
you know, uh, Comet uh, reached seventh spot in the in the German uh, charts when it was released. Do you yeah. have Do you have the same expectations for this record? Where Where are you setting the bar? Well, we hope that we will uh, we will do even better. We hope so. Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> but you never know. You know, it's a uh, the this is the downside of of this thing. It's it's been five years. You know, and uh, um, with a with the whole music market being so you know flooded with new bands, it's not so not not so easy uh, um, um, as uh, as like you know for um, it, it's 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 it's, uh, it's really pretty hard to 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 accomplish that. But 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 you know we hope for the best, and and when we do a lot of we lot, uh, do a lot of things to to let the music. Uh, uh, get around and and make the people realize it that there's there's new singles that there will be a new album a lot of uh, um social media uh stuff and 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 marketing's going on right now um yeah we this is really a, really the downside but but we hope we we um, you know but but what can you do so this is the way it happens i, I could not have done it better i've i've give, given 300% to re I'm really honest. I'm not kidding. I've given 300 percent, and if uh, if you know that those five years are killing me, they're killing me. I don't think. Uh, I don't hope so. I hope not. Uh, but we'll see. <laughs> One last question for you. Uh, you you've been around the music world for a long time. You guys have a, a deep discography. Uh, the 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 success of a band over the years have changed in terms of how people measure it. Either be at one point people attending shows buying records, record sales, charts, streams, uh, you know, with, with all of these different ways of measuring success, how do you measure success? You know, the, 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 um, the, um, the, the greatest benefit for doing this all is, is standing in front of the audience and seeing that you're making those guys happy, those people happy. And uh, if if, um, if you know if they if they sing your songs along if they have happy faces when you're playing it and that's the the biggest biggest gift and the biggest reaction that we uh, get in, in in return and and it's the most honest one because there is no social media shit between you know uh, the 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 people that love our music and and and, and the band itself it's a direct uh, connection. And this is the maybe the best thing. And then it's uh, success is how many people come to your shows, basically. You know, it's it's one thing to listen to your music for free on Spotify or for free on on uh, on uh, YouTube, and another thing to really pick those I don't know 30, 35 euros and buy a ticket. And this is uh, I, I think this is. Uh, the, the the way how you or maybe the best indicator uh, if you're successful or not on that, on that note i hope you guys are successful with this record i hope it's better than number seven at least number <laughs> six so let's yeah, yeah. let's hope for number six at, at yeah, least definitely. So i hope you yeah. guys are successful i hope you get that spot that you deserve the album comes out august 11th on napalm records i'm going to give it one more shot in tofels namen was it better in Teufels Namen. Teufels. And, Teufels. and we will be we will be in Teufels Namen on tour. Uh it's tour in Europe, our first European tour starts September 20th and uh, takes us through Spain, France, uh, Germany, and you know, up to Great Britain. And the last show will be Munich. And what I'll do is I'll put on the description of the video the tour dates. So folks can That's check cool. out where you guys are playing and they can That's pick cool. up that 35 or whatever uh, euro ticket. Come and see you guys and sing along with all of you and have a great time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much for your time today. I really appreciate it. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye. Bye-bye.